si Noel BC at ito ang One News. Report, rewind, react, respect. Ivan Mayrina of GMA's Mr. President, good afternoon. I'm Ivan yes. Mayrina. I represent GMA Integrated News. Before I proceed to my two questions, I'd like to ask a follow-up question <laughs> from, from uh, Cheryl's question uh, earlier about the latest incident in Ayungin Shoal. Uh, Mr. President, how do you intend to resolve the seeming disconnect between what gets agreed upon at your level, at the top level, and what gets implemented out at sea? I know you said there is no compromise yet, but in the meantime, our fishermen are being prevented from engaging in their livelihood. Well, I think the actions that, uh, that, are, that are needed are really from the Chinese side. Uh, and that is because we, we, we do not send our fish, uh, uh, Coast Guard boats into what we consider their waters or international waters. They stay within Philippine waters. And so that uh, hopefully, as I said, the reason that it was important for me, uh, let, let me clarify what we talked about with, uh, with President Xi. And it was very simple. I said we have to raise the level of discourse between the Philippines and China. Now, we already have a bilateral group that's working on issues about the, the South China Sea. Now, my proposal is that we, in, we, ha, we bring that bilateral group to a higher level. It's a sub-ministerial level now. So well, let's bring it to a ministerial level. And I will ask my foreign secretary to be part of it. I will ask my ambassador to China to be part of it. And I guarantee you that if there is any decision that needs to be made, either of those gentlemen can pick up the telephone and talk to me. And within five minutes, we will have a decision. I hope that China can do the same. And that is what, that is what uh, the presidency was agreeable. And he said, why not? So he assigned his foreign minister uh, to, uh, to take care of the details. And that's what we're working on now. Now, uh, with the power structure in, 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 in uh, the People's Republic, uh, I think that if uh, the president, President Xi, uh, puts out an order that we will, we will not do that anymore, we will do something else, then I think it will be. I think the, I think the chain of command is fairly solid. But, uh, because, again, we will, have the, we will be able to report any violations of whatever agreement we come to. Pagalawa, uh, unang tanong ko pala. <laughs> Kamakailan po naglabas ng video si First Lady Lisa tungkol sa, naglabas siya ng warning sa mga taong gumagamit daw ng kanyang pangalan para ma-appoint. Apparently, it had something to do with appointments of the AFP. At sinabi niya, pag ginawa niyo yan, sasabihin ko sa asawa ko, huwag kayong i-appoint. My question, Mr. President, is how involved is the First Lady in your decisions with regard to appointments and in your governance in general? Zero. Uh, she really has no she really has no input on that. The, the, my, the First Lady helps me in terms of re, the organization because she's actually very, very good at that. Organizing which uh, office, how the office, how the workflow goes, where the documents go through. She's, well, she's a well-trained lawyer, so she's very good at that. And uh, so, but that's, that's it. We don't talk about, uh, we don't talk policy. I mean, she'll, she'll comment. She generally say that you know uh, that looks good, doesn't look good. I don't know why you're doing that. And the sign was what a great idea. But that's it. Uh, Do you consult her in difficult positions? Not political. <laughs> Not political decision. Legal. Oh yeah, yeah, legal. I will ask her. I will ask. I will ask. Whenever there's a legal question, I'm not a lawyer, so I need an expert uh, opinion. She's right next to me most of the time, so I can turn to her. I can turn to, I am very lucky, actually, I, I, I think I have the best legal representation of uh, any president. I have a former chief justice as my uh, executive secretary. I have uh, JPE, who is uh, working as a legal advisor to the president. And between, uh, between all of these experts and luminary, legal luminaries, uh, that's when, that's the only time that uh, uh, 
that, that the discussion in, may include Lisa. But she's not, she doesn't come to the office and sit with us at all. If I have something to ask her, it's usually definitions. Define to me what is the legal what is the legal definition of this? What is the legal definition of that? When they talk about this, what, they, what do they mean? What's the legal concept behind that? It's usually, that's the kind of question. Because she's a teacher. So that's the kind of question I ask her. Last question, sir. Madalas rin pong isama si Congressman Sandro sa inyong mga biyahe at sa inyong mga engagements. The question is, is the Congressman being groomed as the next Marcos President? Sandro? <laughs> Uh, no, he's not being, it's, we're not grooming him for anything. He's grooming himself. He's, he's, a, he's, a, uh, he has decided on this, uh, on, on this uh, career in politics and uh, I, I, he will handle it the way he does. Well, there's not, there's not some long range plan that in one day is president. He will laugh. I actually laugh in your face if you tell him that. But no, there's no. We we, we don't we don't think in those. He is, he has worked in he has worked in uh, in uh, the in Ilocos Norte. Uh, even talks of the talk of the presidency would be so 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 premature. Uh, and it's not something that we plan. I mean, we we will see. I think he has the same attitude as I do. I'll take this as far, I'll do as well as I can, work as hard as I can, and take this as far as I can. Which is exactly what they uh, said, you know, well, like, they, when, when, when people talk about, uh, did you plan it in the I was a congressman, all these problems that I had to do, I had to do it, I had to do it, I had to Doesn't mean that the uh, uh, plotting is, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, we have this long range plan. Not at all. Not at all. He's, uh, he has, he's too busy anyway. There's too much work anyway. Um, the reason he accompanies us is because he's an author of the Maharlika Bill, the Maharlika Bond Bill. And we, he, sometimes he has, like, uh, I, have, uh, I had an interview with Financial Times. Uh, he took over when it came to the Maharlika Bill because I had somewhere else to go. So Shang like it's great. Uh, author naman siya, dapat na. So that's what that is. Reason is. Uh, that has been, that's the reason for this. Thank you, Mr. Frank. Thank you. Well, on that note, thank you so much, Mr. Frank. <laughs> thank you so much. What wrong na? Round two. <laughs> But uh, let's wrap it up. Yeah, thank you so much to our friends in media, our anchors in broadcast media for being here in our sit down with Mr. President. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. At yan ang bagong balita sa bagong umaga ng bagong Pilipinas. Ito po si Leon B.C. At ito ang One News Report. Rewind. React. Respa. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click notification bell for more updates.